Hello everyone, Studlod here with your deals of the week. As always, these can go quickly, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when I upload. Also like, comment and all that jazz. And now let's dive in, this week starting with the EU. Over at Intertoys, you can grab an even bigger saving than normal on the Mammoth 8080. This one will be retiring by the end of 2024, so saving €125 Euros on it is definitely a good thing. Nonetheless, it's still a really expensive set, so it's going to put it out of the reach of many people. Nonetheless, once this retires, that price is really only going to go upwards, so now is your chance. As for a much newer set, you can actually grab €13 Euros off of the new Polaroid camera which is obviously a brand new set, a fun one to have. I think it's going to be popular and it's great to see a discount on this so early. Likewise, we also have a discount on the Jurassic World T-Rex fossil skull. Yes, it's only a very small discount, but again, this is a brand new set. It makes for an awesome display piece. I really liked building this one. So if you haven't got it already, I suggest going and grabbing it. And with that in mind, you can also get another small discount off of the brand new 3-in-1 creator set, where we can build our rather massive looking giraffe, or alternatively you can also build this into a lion or a gazelle, and it also comes with a cute little pink flamingo, so if that doesn't sell it for you, I don't know what will. Moving on to Harry Potter, and you can also grab some money off of the Chamber of Secrets set, as well as the Whomping Willow, as well as Dumbledore's Office. Bear in mind that all three of these sets will be retiring by the end of 2024, so it's good that we've got some discounts on them, meaning that you can grab them while you can. Lastly, along the same vein, you can also get a small amount of money off of the Hogsmeade Village set. A couple of buildings in this one, both of them small but nicely detailed. Also gets you one of the uh, gold minifigures, which are quite collectible. So another one for you to consider picking up and a discount before it retires in a few months' time. Over on Amazon, you can grab almost 30% off of the Technic 4 GT. This one was released in March of last year and should st be sticking around for the rest of 2024, retiring sometime around about now in 2025. But it is an interesting one to put together and a nice looking display model. Then also on Amazon, you've got a range of discounts across pretty much all of the Dream sets. I've just picked on this particular one uh, because it is one of the higher discounts, but they don't go anything lower than sort of 25% off really. So good across the board. Just bear in mind that while many of you might not be interested in Dreams, all of these sets will be retiring by the end of 2024. That means that they could become actually quite collectible. And they also come with lots of interesting parts in fun colours as well, which actually means that these are quite worth picking up if you fancy doing any sort of mock building. Then also on Amazon we have the Disney Wish Castle. Yes, this is with the mini dolls, but it sort of sticks with the whole princess theme, so if you're wanting to collect all of those, this is definitely a great price to be picking it up at. As for the mini dolls themselves, They've got some good printing on them, some nice recolouring. For example, that dress there was first used by Belle in the Beauty of the Beast set. It's just been recoloured. So while I know it won't be for all of you, this is actually a really nice little set at a fantastic price. Now it's time to skip on over the pond to the USA. We'll kick things off at Walmart and they have a small saving on some of the Speed Champion sets. I've just picked on this one in particular. Again, these are going to be retiring by the end of this year. So if you haven't got it and you want to complete your collection, now is a pretty good time to do so. Then the botanical range is seeing quite a nice little range of discounts. Again, at Walmart, you can grab uh, the orchid. Also, the spring flower bouquet uh, is discounted. You've then got the succulents, again, where you can save around $10 off, and also the cool bonsai tree, which is actually one of my favorites. You can either choose to have it with the green leaves or the pink ones, which is awesome with all the little frogs, or you can sort of intermix them, have a little bit of both on there. So small savings, but if you're a fan of the botanical range like I am, definitely ones to go and pick up. They do look absolutely fantastic on display. Of course, if Star Wars is more your thing, Walmart also have a saving on a couple of the different diorama sets. Quite small savings on these ones, however, I wanted to highlight them because, again, these sets are going to be retiring by the end of this year, 2024. So if you haven't got them, now really is the time to be considering it before you miss out. And the same thing goes for the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter. This will also be disappearing by the end of the year. This is actually a really nice little set. It's good to build. It looks nice on display, but it's also great for play as well. I would suggest picking this up. It's definitely one of my preferred sets under the $50 mark. Next, if we pop on over to Amazon, we have another Creator 3-in-1 set. This being one of the largest ones, we get a hotel, we get three shops, a nice range of minifigures, and of course, being 3-in-1, you can rebuild this into different configurations. Being Creator, there is nothing groundbreaking about this particular set. However, it can be used as a really good add-on for your whole cityscapes. Or if you've not done something like this before, it's a fantastic place to start. At 32% off, you really can't go wrong. 
There's lots of fun details here, nice part usage, and a whole load of great colours, so if you haven't got it already, I suggest that you go and grab it. Next, we've got a couple of Marvel sets, starting with the big Hulkbuster. A lot of negative things to say about this set, however, just remember that it can actually be rebuilt using the grand majority of the same parts into something much closer to the proper thing. So don't entirely let it put you off. The Disney Store do currently have a really nice saving on this one. $110 off definitely makes this a whole lot more appealing. So if you've been umming and ahhing over this one, now may just be the time to actually go and pick it up. Heading over to LEGO, you can also now grab 40% off of the Black Panther bust, and boy is that needed, because this was horrendously overpriced before. In fact, to be honest, even at 40% off, this is still really expensive. There's a lot of things to dislike about this set, but to be fair, there are also positives as well. So bearing in mind that, at the moment at least, you can earn double points, as well as get 40% off, if this is actually one that you want to add to your collection, now is probably the best time to do it. And then if we move back to Harry Potter, we've got some more sets that are being retired by the end of the year. These aren't crazy savings, but they're definitely welcome. Some nice little sets. You'll find a mixture of these on Best Buy and also Target between the two of them. You've got quite a few of these Harry Potter sets discounted by anywhere from sort of $15 to $35, which is better than a kick in the shins unless you're a masochist. So I would say go and get them because they are actually some really nice little sets that are fun to play with and good for display as well. Now it's time to head on back to Blighty and we will start with Amazon and they have a discount on the Lego City Express passenger train. I've actually just picked this up myself, 27% off. I'm going to be using it to motorise the Orient Express. If you're a train enthusiast who's wanting to motorise things, this is really a good set for you. So at this price, definitely pick that up. Then for Star Wars, you can grab 26% off of the Endor Speeder Chase diorama. Definitely not one of my favourites. Hate the way they've done the trees there. But it is a 40th anniversary. A nice one to have in the collection. And definitely a decent discount. If you head on over to Savvy Zavvy, or however it is you're supposed to pronounce this, you've got the Emperor's Throne Room diorama set. This one's saving you £20. Again, retiring by the end of 2024. So good to see a little discount on that one. Back at Amazon, we also have a saving on the Mandalorian's M1 Starfighter. A little bit better for us over in the UK this week on this one. 25% off. Nice little set definitely grab it and then it's a big one now there has been a saving on this for a while but i figured i should mention it you've got 155 pounds off of the massive millennium falcon so if you do want the ultimate collector series edition this is obviously a very welcome saving of course it is still a massive outlay so that's not going to be accessible for everybody nonetheless if you've got some money to burn this is a really cool set that you can get from it you've also got the r2d2 model there's a new one of these that's going to be coming out, obviously less detail because this one is the Ultimate Collector Series Edition. You can save £40 on it and that is worth considering because again this will be retired by the end of this year. Exactly the same can be said for the Ultimate Collector's Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder. This one you can get 25% discount on at Argos at the moment. Sadly the Luke Skywalker minifigure is no longer unique to this set but C-3PO is with that other coloured leg. And the set itself certainly does make for a nice display piece. But if you want it, make sure that you get it while it's on discount. You definitely don't want to be picking this up while it's full retail. Couple more sets to mention. In the Star Wars theme, still at Argos, this is Ahsoka's T6 Jedi Shuttle set. I do really like this one. It's got a lot going for it. Comes with some nice figures as well. 20% off. Can't really go wrong. This is a really nice one for display, but also actually playing with as well. Very swooshable. And with that in mind, the TIE Bomber is also 20% off. This has been out for a while now. Again, it's going to be retiring. Plenty of opportunity to have picked this up. And to be fair, we might even see slightly bigger discount before it does go. I reckon maybe up to 25%, but I could be wrong, so now could well be the ideal time to pick this up. And then lastly for Star Wars, we've got the ATTE. Argos have made a little bit of a boob on this one. They're saying it saved 10% at £89. They're wrong because actually this retails at 120 not the 99 that they're saying. So this is actually a better saving than it looks. And for a 9 plus set, this is actually surprisingly detailed, comes with a good range of minifigures, is an enjoyable build and does look really good on display. Now moving on to Harry Potter, and again at the whole savvy zavvy thing, we've got the Hogwarts Castle. This is the big one, very impressive, and £90 off, you can't really go wrong. Just bear in mind, you do need a lot of display space for this one, it is a big set. 
Going back to the smaller modular ones though, and you can grab 25% off of Dumbledore's office. Again, as mentioned before, retiring by the end of this year. This is definitely one of the better ones in this whole wave. Lots of nice details, good minifigures, fun parts to play with, and looks pretty good on display as well. Quick mention for the botanical line and the Orchid, 22% off here in the UK on Amazon at the moment. This is one of my favourites. I have got it, I have built it, I've got it on display. It looks fantastic, highly recommend it. Then we've got one of the largest Technic sets. This is the Crawler Crane. £140 saving. Big discount for a big set. If you're a Technic fan, you pretty much have to have this one. It is incredible. That said, the initial price point puts out the reach for many. To be fair, even the discounted one still will, but I can't see it getting much better than this, and it is such an imposing, massive, brilliant model. Fantastic to build and amazing to have on display. So if you've been waiting, I would suggest wait no more, pull the trigger, go and grab it. Then the last couple of mentions need to go on LEGO itself. Again, we've got double points just for the next couple of days still left. 30% uh, off as well on the new Guardians of the Galaxy ship. Bear in mind this does also have the unique gold Adam Warlock figure in it as well, which is quite desirable. This is a really nice build. Again, one I've got on display. There is a little bit of silliness with it. Basically, no room to put the minifigures in the ship itself. I mean, you've got a little cockpit. You can fit a couple of them in, but otherwise the rest have to sort of stick on the side. It's a little bit strange. Nonetheless, really nice model to have. Lots of fun to play with. Very swooshable and looks good on display as well. So highly recommend that one. And then last but not least is actually a friend set. I know this might not appeal to all of you. However, Olivia's Space Academy is actually the friends theme first foray into the whole space segment and of course as we know space is going to be really big with lego this year i think this could become quite collectible 40 percent discount and double points bit of a no-brainer really i would suggest picking this one up even if it's just to put it away for a rainy day i think it could do quite well as an investment but of course i'm no financial advisor but there we have it that is our lineup of deals this week please post in the comments for any that i have missed any more that you find any that you're going to be picking up etc etc and please of course consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload because these deals can disappear quite quickly with all that said thank you very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you on the next one